Hey everyone, it's Jamie here. Welcome to Travel Blog Jamie and Southampton, UK, the cruise capital of the world. Yes, it is. Well, I can't quite believe it, but tonight we are actually staying on an RNLI rig lifeboat. Yes, you heard that correctly. But before we get to that, please do give this video a cheeky little like, subscribe and turn on notifications for bi-weekly travel vlogs. We have come to Ocean Village, Southampton. That's the cinema. That is the Harbour Hotel and Spa. Beautiful hotel. Here's the marina. And look, this is our accommodation for the night. This is a rig lifeboat. How cool does that look? I cannot wait to get inside to see what this is like. It's absolutely awesome. So I posted about this on Twitter and Instagram during the week saying, oh, you'll never believe it. We're staying on a lifeboat overnight in Southampton. And my followers were saying, oh, well, how do you find things like this? Where did you book that? Well, quite simply, we found it on booking.com of all places. Let's talk ka -ching. We paid £190 for one night for the two of us. What are we going to get? I have no idea. We're just trying something different. Hey, why not? You only get to live once. So come with me. Let's go and explore this lifeboat, the area, and we'll talk all the pros and cons of staying on a lifeboat. Good to know that here is your lifeboat. And actually, just over here, I did mention this cinema, but there is a nice little bar area outside and it's in the sunshine. Oh, look at this. It's Mafu. Hello. Hello. Right opposite, you've got the Harbour Hotel and Spa, beautiful location. Uh, you might want to pop in there for drinks and food, do book in advance. You've also got the Ha Spa. Oh, you noisy little thing. As I was saying before, rudely interrupted, you've also got the Ha Spa. Look, the outdoor section of the spa. Imagine just sat there all day in the sunshine, a few drinks, a bit of food, lovely. And on the other side of the Harbour Hotel, you've got the award-winning Blue Jasmine Restaurant, beautiful Asian food. And around here, uh, more options. You've got the Maritima uh, Lounge and Cafe Bar. What a beautiful spring day, folks. We have the new Figurati here, Italian restaurant. I'm actually going there for a Princess Cruises uh, press event on Friday, so do look out for that. Banana Wharf straight ahead. I think we'll probably get a quick drink there. Cheers, everybody. Just to the left of Banana Wharf, you also have a pitcher and piano. Lots of outdoor seating as well around here, which is brilliant for this time of year. Just next to the Maritima Lounge, we also have a quap, as we say in Devon. Uh, good for provisions for your lifeboat. The cinema just opposite with the little bar and cafe. Oh, they do ice latte. Perfect. I'm absolutely addicted in case you didn't realize. Alrighty, so this lifeboat is let by a private host and they're going to email you um, the code for the padlock to get on board. Plus, um, you need to let them know what time you're likely to arrive. Checking this from 4 p.m. Uh, someone will meet you here and they'll give you a little card to swipe uh, through a gate access to the jetty area. That's what we're going to do now. Mr. Maffle knows what's what. Look, we're going to access the jetty by this gate. Hurrah! The swipey card works. In we go. Thank you, Matthew. Round we go to our little lifeboat. Now the lifeboat is called the Blue Whale, even though she is white. Right, Matthew is sorting out the padlock so we can get in. No, don't drop that in the water. Here we go. Oh, how cool is this? <laughs> right, mind the gap. Oof. Oh, how cool this is! Welcome home, everybody. There's a little Matthew. We'll take a chair or two out later and have a drink, I think. Okay, some information for you. So this uh, rig lifeboat was actually built in 1996, made its way to the North Sea, uh, joined a rig. It was never launched. There are some pictures down here, which I'll show you shortly of what it used to look like. You used to have to strap yourself in, folks. Um, right, now there is actually a kitchenette, which is very cute. We have down here um, a small oven and microwave. Up here, they've got some tea and coffee facilities. There is a fridge freezer down here. I promise you there is, and it does work. A uh, little freezer compartment. They um, supply some fresh milk for you as well, which I appreciate very much. We've got a coffee machine here, a delightful bit of war art. Look at that, no matter how big the storm is, you can firmly resist it. Oh, I'm a firm believer of that. We've actually got USB ports as well as UK sockets. Thank you, Jesus. Um, we can operate outlets, cabin lights, spare, I don't know what that is, instruments, I don't know what that is, autopilot. 
Yes, I'm going to autopilot later. Um, we've got chopping board. Oh, I wonder what's behind that. All right, I don't think I need to do anything with this. It's a marine battery charger. I think I should leave that alone, don't you? I'm very clumsy. We have a welcome pack here. It's a very thick one, so I imagine there's lots to read through. Oh, what a gorgeous little kettle we've got here. Teapot. Uh, I can see, oh, sesame oil, uh, salt and pepper. There is a reed diffuser, and who doesn't love a reed diffuser? There's even a hob. If you want to do a little bit of cooking, I can't imagine I'm going to do much of that tonight. Let's see what's in these drawers. Let's have a rummage. Alrighty. Right, we've got all sorts of cutlery here, knives. Oh, corkscrew, thank you. Down here, we've got oh, a toaster, a whisk. Oh my God. Juicer, plates, and I see a cheese grater, pots and pans, sieve, fantastic. And in here, aha, glasses, mugs, more plates, cafetiere, frying pan. Well, pretty much everything you could need for a good old fry up in the morning, hey? And opposite the kitchen, you might be a bit perturbed by this, uh, we have the shower, oh look, monsoon, um, sink area and toilet. You're thinking, how on earth do I shower in there? Look, I'm going to come back to that later, because actually you can access the showers um, by a residential area. We'll take you up there later. We have the kitchen sink here, more cupboards below, uh, cleaning products, We've got some drawers here with probably life-saving instruments. Oh matches that's not quite life saving is it i bet you any money there is oh no. ah there you go look we got fog horns we got tape what on earth was going in here before <laughs> now then my loves the water is potable although we brought our own bottled water just in case don't want any dodgy tums mafu tells me omo is an old-fashioned washing powder who knew not me he knows everything about that he's like mr hinch right Let's continue our tour. Two good sized couches here, lovely table running along the middle. Nice area to chill out, isn't it? And then at the end of this table, you've got two um, director's chairs, I'm gonna call those. This is the cutest storage area ever. So you've got a little bit of hanging space and look, little boxes written in French. Chemise, mes baskets, uh, mes polo. All right, the aircon unit is movable. Mes pulls. My t-shirt. That's kind of like a nice touch, isn't it? Holy macaroni. I nearly didn't see that. Look, UK socket, two USB ports. Little treasure chest. Oh, little mirror. Hello, everybody. Over yonder side, uh, we've got some hooks back there. Oh, lots of UK sockets. TV, table, more sockets down here. Gosh, this is more sockets than you'd get in a normal hotel room. And the piece de résistance, the bedroom area. You'll notice we've got some towers down there. I will be taking this little beauty out for a spin on the soda later. You mark my words. We've got natural light. Hurrah. I've been asked by people online, are there any windows? Well, now you can see, yes, there are. I'm calling them windows. Shall I be calling these portholes? These are portholes. We've got a couple either side of the foot of the bed as well. Oh, and this is so cool. There is a CD player. I have never seen a CD player that looks like this. Michael Jackson. Oh my goodness. No, thank you. And right at the end of the lifeboat, there's some pictures of what Blue Whale used to look like. Let's see if I can zoom in. There she is, folks. The Blue Whale in all her glory. Oh, you can even see the oil rig she was attached to as well. Fantastic. Oh, imagine being strapped in like that on the top left hand corner. No, thank you, Jesus. And you'll never believe this. We've got even more UK sockets and USB ports. This is ridiculous. Little peep from this angle. There's a little Matthew scratching his head, wondering what on earth is going on. How did we end up here? Alrighty, let's have a look under the bed. Any storage space? Well, we've managed to get our rucksacks underneath. Uh, I think you'd be hard pressed to get any luggage under there though, folks. Having said that, if you did have suitcases, I think you could probably collapse these chairs, move the chairs and store them here. The other thing to note is that there are no blinds or curtains for these windows. So when the sun rises nice and early in the morning, you might be getting up with it. Right, let's talk showers, wheeze and doo-doos. <laughs> okay, so if you were to use this shower, you haven't got very much space here uh, in order to stand. Um, you could, I suppose, hover on the toilet, but I wouldn't recommend it. The glass is frosted this side, so nobody can see in that way. However, I think we are going to be using the very nice um, shower area in the residential building. We'll show you that shortly. 
Oh, I know some of you are going to be moaning, aren't you, that the toilet seat was up earlier. Can I just say, that's how it was when we got here. Right, how many people are you going to fit in the shower? Oh my goodness. One! Is this the first time ever in the history of me doing vlogs I've said one person? <sighs> right, practicalities. Matthew is over six foot and his head is not touching the roof of this lifeboat. Thank goodness. In case you're wondering whether there is a slight rock and roll on the water, the answer is yes, there is a slight roll. Um, nothing too vomit inducing, you'll be pleased to know. It's very gentle. We'll see how we get on with uh, sleep tonight, shall we? Hmm. Be aware there is also a slight whiff of diesel in here. Uh, we're going to leave the door open for a little and see if that clears. Um, that could be a little bothersome, I've got to be honest. Off note, it is about 20 degrees Celsius right now, uh, which is not hot by any means, of course. Um, inside, I'd say it's a little bit too toasty for my liking, even with the aircon unit on, which doesn't seem to go below 23 degrees Celsius. So we've turned that completely off now. It felt like it was blowing out hot air, actually. Um, just think in the summer months, this would probably be completely unbearable for me. Sorry. Oh me gosh, how did I miss the complimentary Kit Kats? Alrighty, let's see if there's anything we really need to be aware of in the little welcome book. Well, look, as you would expect, it's got information and instructions on how to use all the facilities on board. Now then, there's a second TV at the very end of the lifeboat. I think you push up. <laughs> ah, there you go. Well done, Jamie. Oh, perfect, you can watch that from the lounge. Gently rocking away here, folks. Let's go and see if we can find some sharks. Oh, I'm getting Jaws vibes. Oh, I wonder if we can see Matthew in the little porthole there. Let's see what he's up to, shall we? Hello? I can't see him. Holy swarmer. It's a bit rocky down this end. Oh, well, this is definitely different, isn't it? <laughs> hey, baby blue whale. That's not blue. Are blue whales blue? I think they are, aren't they? I'm sure I just saw a shark fin. <gasps> oh my God, look trolley of treats over there that is awesome i wonder if they take card this trolley of treats that's so cool isn't it i am often asked about accessibility quite right too uh you're going to get down this ramp no problem along the pontoon no problem however getting in here is going to be a real problem for you unless you have some mobility and inside uh there's very little space to get around that table or into the bed a bit worried about over drinking as well. There's no way I'd notice that step if I'd had a few vodkas. Alrighty, time to go and check out those birth holder facilities. Thank you. Alright, up the ramp we go. At the top of the ramp, you are going to turn left. And just here, you're going to use the same card uh, that you access the pontoon. A bit of swipey swipey. And right inside, you've got shower facilities. No idea what they're like. Let's have a peek, shall we? Oh, they're actually quite nice, look. So you're going to bring the towel up from the lifeboat and any shower, gel, shampoo, etc. Very nice. Very clean as well. Just around here, you've got the male toilet area. Oh, and there's even a hairdryer. Oh, I could do a hairdryer test here. Only one setting. So here we go, setting one. <laughs> Not very hot. But uh, a good blow. If you are easily offended or sensitive, uh, you probably want to put your fingers in your ears now. I'm just thinking, I hope I don't need to do any business in the middle of the night. Not because I'm worried about the walk, that's fine. Um, I'm more worried about falling in the water. <laughs> Right, folks, we are heading to the Harbour on 6 for uh, some lovely marina views and even a cheeky drink. In we go. No surprise, Harbour on 6 is on the 6th floor. Mmm, this lift smells good. Matthew's already calling me stupid. Oh, it's lively in here, folks. All checked in. Lots of afternoon teaage going on here. Right, so we're heading out to the terrace area. It's a lovely bar out here. Oh, look, pizza oven. Pizza chef. Good views up here. Hoping to see one of the cruise ships sail out a little bit later. Little bar over here. 
We got a cocktail menu using Hendrix Floradora gin. And you can take your fancy. Oh, tiki nuts, please. We have back to basic cocktails. Nothing basic about those, my loves. Uh, non-alcoholic as well. I should share more non-alcoholic drinks, shouldn't I, when I vlog? It's so cool up here, folks. If you've never been to Harbour on Six, you must come to the terrace. A peep at the set Sunday menu for you all. What would you have? And the other more extensive menu. We've got nibbles, we've got small plates, large plates, pizza. Oh, the pizza looks awesome here, by the way. Uh, salad. Spot the lifeboat. We see you. Blue whale, white whale. It's Queen Mary 2 making her way out for stolen. Hi, baby. Cheers, Matthew. Happy days. Happy bank holiday. <laughs> Happy bank holiday, everyone. Already, Matthew has gone with the fish and chips, mushy peas. I've got the pea and mint ravioli. It smells delicious. Quick stop at Qua for some provisions. Back to the boat for now. And um, we'll be returning to Harbour tomorrow morning for breakfast. We are booked in at 8 a.m. Oh, look, we're getting a top up. How awesome. Home sweet home. Bit of TV for Matthew, a place in the sun. Whereas for me, I think I'm going to have a little bit of vodka and sit outside dangling my feet into the Solon. Oh, look what I just found. A little book. Is it like the Book of the Dead, you think? From the Evil Dead? No. Oh, no one's written in it. Have no fear. I always carry a pen with me. Keep it in my pants. It's in the book, Linda. It's going in the book. It's going in the book. Cheers. Oh, I've got hiccups. <laughs> Cheers, everybody. Happy lifeboat days. Oh, that's strong. <laughs> oh, it's not a bad life, is it, folks? <laughs> oh, this is making me want to go for a wee. Oh, how have I missed the lobster cushion? I want to take it home. Can I purchase it, please? Can I? Can I? Should I just take it? No, I can't do that. Probably get charged about £300 or something. But I love it. It's starting to get dark. This is going to be so cool at night. I know it. The inside of a lifeboat at night. Maffle keeps threatening to sail us out in the middle of the night. God help us, everyone. Oh my goodness. We've just had a power cut. This is so scary. Oh, it's like something out of paranormal activity, look, isn't it? Oh, we're back. Hallelujah. I think it's time to try and go to bed. Too scared to stay awake. <laughs> Good night, everybody. Wish us luck. <gasps> oh, good morning, everybody. Well, I seem to have developed a cold overnight, like you do. <laughs> um, once I got to sleep, after getting used to the creaks and the groans and the noises. That wasn't me, by the way, making those noises. I did actually sleep really well. Um, as you can see, natural light comes through at the moment this time of year, about 5 a.m., but that did not perturb me. I can imagine it would be quite bothersome for some of you, however. Anyway, time to get up. Uh, I'm gonna go and use the showers in the other block. I know a little rough, sue me. Bite me. I've just woken up, for goodness sake. Time for a shower. Heading up to the block. In we go. Oh, this is a nice hot shower, folks. Worth the walk. Right, we are saying farewell to our lifeboat. Matthew is just gonna put the padlock on. And then we are gonna head up to the Harbour Hotel for some breakfast. It's 20 pounds per person. We've booked in advance. Let's see what you get for 20 kahuna pounds. Oh, it's like being home up here. The lady recognized her from when we've stayed before. Right, so you can get your hot drinks, of course. There is a hot breakfast menu as well to choose from. Plus there is a buffet. That is my kind of coffee pot, folks. Do I have to share? I hope not. Alrighty, and the buffet breakfast items are located on the actual bar. 
ice water, apple juice, orange juice, cranberry juice, grapefruit. We've got different types of milk, lots of cereals to choose from. We've got plain Greek yogurt, there's compote, there's all sorts of seeds, fruit smoothie, fresh fruits coming up as well. They look yummy. We've got meats, cheeses, bread, jam, honey, marmalade. Oh, some part. Hi, my old friend. Croissant, all sorts of Danish, pan chocolat, donuts, muffin. Alrighty, hot food has arrived. Got a basket of toast. Uh, we've gone with the veggie breakfast, both of us, which comes with potato rosti, aka hash brown, uh, mushroom, uh, veggie sausage, halloumi, tomato, smashed avocado, baked beans, and we've got fried eggs as well, over medium. If I may be so bold, the breakfast at the Harbour Hotel was delicious. £20 per person gets you all that food, as much coffee and tea as you can stomach. The service was exceptional and it's a really nice atmosphere as well, so highly recommend it. And there we have a night on a lifeboat of all things. In summary, what a quirky, unique thing to do. If you like your accommodation a little bit different, well, you are in for a treat. And the lifeboat, it's like a TARDIS. You go in thinking it's gonna be tiny, but actually much more spacious and a lot more facilities than you would imagine. So from that point of view, a win. And let's not forget location. You are in Southampton, the cruise capital of the world. Not just that, you are on Ocean Village Marina. Doesn't get any better than that in Southampton. And with your own jetty, it feels very exclusive. But is this an ideal pre or post cruise stay? Um, yes and no. It's not hugely practical if you have cases. You've seen that there's not a great deal of storage space and you're going to have to cart them up and down that ramp as well. The toileting facilities. Well, I've got to be honest with you, I didn't feel like I wanted to use the ones on the boat. We used the birth facilities block, which was much nicer. It's only a few minute walk, so it wasn't a big hardship. But if you're the sort of person who needs to be doing their poo poos and so on, in your uh, room, then it's not gonna be for you. Not to mention that shower is teeny, teeny, tiny, tiniest ever. I maintain that there's a slight whiff of diesel on the lifeboat, which is slightly off-putting. Couldn't notice it so much um, in the bedroom area, thankfully. Um, and some of you might be a little bit put off by some of the creaking noises through the night. <laughs> the big question, would we stay again? The answer is no, we wouldn't. Just a few too many drawbacks for us, but that's not to say we didn't enjoy the evening. I absolutely would recommend it if you're looking for something very different to do. All right, the parking situation. Well, the boat is down here, that's the cinema, and directly opposite there is a multi-story, which I'm gonna show you now. That's where we have parked. So this is called the Ocean Village Car Park. Uh, prices as follows. Now it's actually a very nice contemporary and clean car park. Imagine, thank you Matthew. Seems very secure and still lots of spaces available and it's a bank holiday weekend. Indeed, the direct area around the lifeboat is super easy to navigate. Ocean Village is just a 10 to 15 minute walk from central Southampton. Alternatively, it's no more than five minutes in a car or taxi. It's also no more than a five minute drive to Ocean Cruise Terminal. And there you have it, one night in a lifeboat. If you have any questions or comments, please do drop those below and I will get back to you. As always, thank you for watching and don't forget to follow Travel Blog Jamie on Twitter, Instagram and YouTube.